you guys welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews today we're gonna review something a little different today it is this this actually we'll turn him around because he's got a little dinosaur skeleton on the other side at the bottom this is the 1 million years BC Allosaurus bust by uh, is sculpted by I believe you say his name Joe Ladati Loja Joe Ladati I'm not a hundred percent sure how you say his name but the man is a genius as far as sculpts go. He sculpts so many different movie dinosaurs and they are all so, so nicely done. I don't have too many of them. In fact, I believe I only have three and this is obviously one of the three. But uh, this thing is phenomenal. I happened to catch this on a website called MonstersInMotion.com and uh, I saw the pictures when it was coming out and I do occasionally get their emails as I like to find out what kind of upcoming dinosaur things they're gonna get. And this was one of them they were getting. It was a kit, and I was blown away by how, how beautiful it is. I am a big fan of the movie One Million Years BC, and I always did love the Allosaurus from it. So for me to get a nice little bust of him, I was totally in 100% when they saw, or when they put this up for uh, order. Bought it right away, and uh, I was definitely not disappointed. Now it does come as a kit. I'm not 100% sure actually if it's even still available anymore, I'll have to look into that and if not I'll try to find out where you can buy one, if you can still buy one, I don't know. But uh, it does come as a kit, but it's a resin kit and the only thing that you really have to connect is the lower jaw. The lower jaw is uh, not connected to the rest of it, you have to glue that in and uh, seal it up so that you can seal up the cracks from where you put it in the seams. But it wasn't too hard to do and uh, then you gotta paint it yourself and all that fun stuff, but that's half the fun of making models and resin kits and putting them together. It's definitely a good time. Now, uh, in the movie, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the color of the Allosaurus is because I kind of feel like he changes color a few times. As you see him in the movie, he kind of looks like he's a brownish color at certain points, and he kind of looks like he's uh, a gray in certain points. It's kind of like the uh, dinosaur from the Valley of Guanji also believe he kind of looks like he changes color here and there in the movie. So you never really get a, a great idea of exactly what color the dinosaur is because in that movie, Guanji kind of looks like uh, he's like a bluish color almost in certain parts and a, a purple color in others and then a gray. At least that's how he always looked to me. He's, he looks like he's a gray in certain color in certain parts and I always kind of felt like uh, the Allosaur in 1 million years BC was gray, even though he looked brown and, and a good bit of it. But uh, in the prototype or promotional pictures for this, when they put it up, they also had him painted in gray. So I figured, hey, I'm going to paint mine in gray just because I like that look of this model. Now this thing is super nicely detailed, it and to me looks exactly as it looks in the movie. It is very, very nicely done. It is not large, I mean, you can see my hand here, pretty decent size, definitely a nice size, but it is not insanely large, so it fits in most places once you do put it together, and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Joe Ladati. But Daddy, again, I don't know exactly how you say his name, but he does such nice work on his uh, sculpts and his resin kits. There are so many that I would love to get a hold of and review, and I will review the other two that I do have over time, but uh, for now, we're just going to settle with this one. Taking a closer look at it, you can see, uh, again, I painted this, so the painting actually isn't that great, and on top of that, I painted this earlier on in my uh, painting life I guess you could say. When I first started to paint models was not too long after I started to I saw this and bought it. So the paint is especially not that great on this one because again I wasn't that good at it at all. I'm still not very good at it but at the time I really wasn't that good at it. So it don't look that great. The teeth and the, the tongue I think are colored pretty poorly but overall I guess he doesn't look terrible. But uh, again the sculpt beautifully done. You can even see the gum line there by the teeth. They actually went to the point of putting that in there. Nicely uh, sculpted nostrils. The big scales are beautifully done all over the place. The eye looks beautiful. Looks absolutely awesome. Sculpt is well done all over the place. 
tons of detail put into it. Chest here looks absolutely awesome. Nice skin fold here in the throat from the dinosaur turning its head a little bit down. Beautifully done, obviously he's got no arms, but that's just where the sculpt ends, where the bust ends. Started to get his upper body. I would love to have a, uh, a resin kit of this entire thing. I think it would look awesome. I would love to have that, being a fan of this movie. I, again, detail absolutely awesome all over the place, everywhere at the top of the head, all over the place. Looks great. It's connected to this nice little mound of whatever you choose it to be. If you want it to look like a rock, I kind of just made it look like a big sack of dirt <laughs> that is he's on. And it comes with this nice little uh, skeleton, skull, a little bit of the vertebrae of some kind of a sauropod. Kind of looks like a Camarasaurus to me, but who knows. I'm not sure what he was aiming for with that. And it's pretty much the whole way all over the place. I think the bottom of the base can just be interpreted to however you would like it to be. You paint it up as whatever you'd like. As far as the size goes, you're looking at a little under seven and a half inches, probably actually about seven inches, somewhere in that range. As you can see, it's not very wide, so maybe about four inches, actually not even close, about three and a half inches wide. So it's a nice size, not super huge, not super small. I'd say just perfect. I don't recall, I'm terrible when it comes to remembering things, I don't really recall exactly how much I did pay for this, but again, like I said, I don't even know for sure if it's still available. I thought it was cool though, and I did want to review it and let you guys see it, but again, I don't know for sure if it is even available anymore. I will try to find out, and if it is, I will include it in the description. And if it's not, I will at least link you guys to the website monstersinmotion.com because they do have all kinds of other resin kits and fun dinosaur related things, especially when it comes to movie dinosaurs. They get a lot of that kind of stuff in it. And uh, yeah, this thing was beautiful. I'll also try to link you guys to Joe Ladati. Joe Lad Ladati? However, I gotta learn how to say his name. But I will link you to his website as well, as long as it is still up. I, I haven't been on it in a little while, but still up the last time I checked obviously and uh, that way you guys can see all the other crazy awesome stuff that he has sculpted and up for sale and uh, please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching